this episode, we're going to take a look at a Rails application where we have some things going on in the background. So for example, we had these two different Bitcoin prices, and these will update automatically as the price changes. Also, you see this loaded. If I refresh the page again, you'll see that it's loading a slow controller, so it's rendering out a partial, and after a bit of time, it gets loaded. And so this could be replaced fairly easily with anything from a comment section or really any kind of data that otherwise would take a bit of time to load. And similar, if we add in some text here, we'll see it pop up on the other side automatically. And so when we are looking for this kind of real-time interactions, and when we're also looking for some kind of background loading, that can start to get really complicated. And previously, I did an episode on long polling, and this will be kind of a revisit of that, but in a more simple way. But the other powerful bit is to be able to load the slow content, which would be great on something like a dashboard. So the loading of your application's pages will seem to be a lot faster. And the nice thing about this is that we're not going to have to introduce anything except for Stimulus.js. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.